Nuclear power is the one technology where very good experts, very well-educated, smart, thoughtful people can disagree on very fundamental grounds. Why are they talking about this? Well, with our increasing energy use, alternative energy sources are crucial for our future. Nuclear power is carbon or greenhouse gas free if you look just at the operation of the plant. And that's a big plus at a time when we need to cut our greenhouse gas emissions. The problem is that it's a more complicated story. No technology comes with as large a risk as nuclear power in terms of how bad an accident can be. And nuclear is very expensive. So should I be for it or against it? And what the heck is nuclear energy anyways? Well, currently there are about 400 nuclear fission plants worldwide, producing 10% of the energy around the globe. And the way it works is actually pretty cool. When a neutron is crashed into a certain kind of uranium atom, that uranium atom splits into two smaller atoms. This fission releases a lot of energy, but it also releases more neutrons that are free to crash into other uranium atoms, creating a chain reaction of lots more fission. When this fission chain reaction is carefully controlled in a nuclear reactor, a constant supply of energy is produced. A single uranium pellet less than an inch long can produce as much energy as a ton of coal. But one of the problems is what's left behind. We have various different ways to manage the waste. We can bury it underground so that we can never retrieve it again, hope the water never intrudes and that it's safe and secure, or we can also store it in facilities where we can go dig it out of the ground. And what about nuclear accidents? They don't happen very often, but when they do, it can be really bad. But frankly, there are safety concerns with any energy source. We've seen issues with the production of coal and oil too. When you take into account the cost of mining uranium, ensuring safety, and dealing with waste, nuclear can also be very expensive, especially compared to safer energies like solar and wind. But new technologies can make it another option as we move to a carbon-free future. One technology we could see in 20 years or so is nuclear fusion. Fusion is the opposite of fission. And nuclear fusion a process that powers our sun, two smaller atoms combine together to form one larger atom. Like fission, fusion releases a lot of energy, but it also takes a lot of energy to make it happen in the first place. Scientists are still trying to figure out how to harness this type of energy, and we still have a long way to go. So, nuclear energy could be a good option for the future, if we either advance the technology for fusion, or solve the problems for fission. Rooting for innovation, and I would love to see the super cheap, super safe reactor and waste management story come together. I'll be skeptical until I see it, but I'll be rooting for it.